then you slice it and you put your butter in it and you serve it with your butter and your syrup or your jelly it's really really good really good y'all now that is a southern hoe cake the way we grew up that's what we call a hoe cake Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Color Valley Cooks. It is in the morning, we are snowed in, and I have not even shown y'all how my mother made a hoe cake. Now I know there's all different kinds of people that call hoe cakes different things, but we grew up calling a hoe cake a large biscuit made in an iron skillet. That's what we grew up calling a hoe cake. So that's what I'm making this morning. You just take a 12 inch iron skillet, you grease it with some Crisco, and you make a biscuit dough, and you make a huge biscuit. And we like to serve it with gravy, but we're all out of milk and we're snowed in. So we're gonna have it with some butter and honey and table syrup this morning. So, um, and some good homemade jelly. My, uh, my sister-in-law made us some homemade jelly, so we'll have some of her musket on jelly today, too. Um, so, I'm going to zoom in and let you guys watch me make this hoe cake. Okay, I like to use self-rising flour. You can use all-purpose if you want to, but this is just what I like to do, okay? Because it's easier. You don't have to put stuff in it. So I use two cups of self-rising flour. My power is flickering, y'all, but my camera is um, my camera is on battery mode, so that's good. I'm going to put in a pinch of soda. Now we're going to use uh, you use a. A quarter cup of shortening but now I'm gonna put in uh, some butter as well just to make it good this morning you don't have to do this but when I do that I like to grate it so let's go ahead and just add a little bit of shortening so uh, I'm just gonna add about an eighth cup of shortening and I'm gonna cut that in first because when I grate my butter in, um, I won't cut it in. I'll just grate it in and mix it up. So you're going to put a little bit of shortening in there. About an eighth of a cup. And you're going to cut it in. This is a uh, pastry blending fork. It's wonderful. You can use a regular fork and just go around the edges of your bowl to cut it in, or you can use a pastry blender, however you want to do it. That's good enough. Now we're going to take our butter, and we're going to use the smaller grates. I'm going to use, not, I'm going to use this size. Let me see if this is going to work. Yeah. And I'm going to grate this butter. I'm going to grate uh, several tablespoons, probably about three tablespoons at least. Three or four will be good. It'll just make it delicious. Now you're going to try your best not to um, mash it up too much. We'll try to, I guess I'm going to have to blend it in there a little bit because that was small grated. So anyway, we'll blend this butter in just a tiny bit. Use 
Crisco like Mama always did. I make a mess with this pastry fork. It kind of makes a mess. Um, now I'm going to use whole butter meal. Whole butter meal makes a better biscuit. Now when you do a whole cake, um, you want it to be a little bit wet. So um, you add enough milk that it's wet, not dry and sticky like you would if you were going, going to um, cut your biscuits out. You're going to bake this at 450 till it's nice and golden brown, y'all. Okay, we're going to get our whole cake out of the oven. It is done. You want it to be nice and brown. About got too brown. But it'll be good to it like we like it. You're going to flip it out while pooped. It is slid right out of the pan. We want to flip it upside down, y'all. Okay? And then you're going to serve it and cut it like you do cornbread. And then you slice it. And you put your butter in it and you serve it with your butter and your syrup or your jelly. It's really, really good. Really good, y'all. Now that is a southern hoe cake. The way we grew up, that's what we call a hoe cake. Thanks for watching Color Valley Cooks. Good morning. Bye.